Morning everyone, we're in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Just down the street from the dealer I was able to walk to. Because yesterday, we discovered we had some cab airbags that were leaking. One we knew for sure because we could hear it. So I got out with some soapy water and they were blowing bubbles like a little kid in a bathtub. So we started in Kingman, Arizona and started calling east on 40 every single shop to see who had them. Turns out the closest place from Kingman, Arizona was Albuquerque, New Mexico and they had five of them. So I bought three, I'm going to replace two and keep one as a spare and I wanted to show you how easy it is to put these on even with a 144 inch ARI Legacy 2 sleeper. Alright, so I want to show you the tools. I replaced the other side so I didn't look like a fool trying to do this on camera for the first time. But these are the three tools I needed. A 27 millimeter, I found that wrench on the road. A 7 16 and then a crescent wrench just because I was too lazy to, to, to get a 9 16. So the crescent wrench is for, for the nut that holds the airline on. So what I did was I started up the truck, I let the air build up, I disconnected my leveling switch and I pulled it all the way down which raises the cab up as high as it can be. I took these little leveling blocks which you parked your your truck or your RV on to level it to sleep at night and I just cribbed up the sleeper with that. So now this is literally how easy it is. Start out with my crescent wrench and disconnect my airline. Some of these airlines are quick connects. This one isn't, I don't think. So I'm just undoing the nut and let the airline come loose. There it is. That one's a little different than the other side. All right, my 27 millimeter. There's one nut underneath here. And these are Link cab mate. Oh, it's trying to turn. Alright, I gotta go get I gotta get another tool, looks like. Since it was trying to turn, I just grabbed it with some big channel locks. Break this nut loose. There it went. Now this is all plastic pieces that we're working with, so you got to kind of be careful. Because they would break pretty easy. pick the bottom up and you gotta unscrew the top off of the little stud that's up there and there my friend is the offending piece so that's the little stud and that is where everything screws onto the bottom and that's the whole airbag and you can see that this one here is dry rotted pretty bad So, the new ones come all extended, which looks a little odd compared to the old one, but you do the same thing. What worked well for me last time is I installed the bottom first, you just kind of squash it, get it set up there for the top, and you just get it straight so you don't cross thread it, and screw that baby right back on. Just like that.
All right, I'm gonna put just a touch of WD-40 on this, just so it screws back on, because that dude was a little bit rusty. Well, that goes on a lot easier, and it came off. Back to my roadkill wrench. That doesn't have to be super tight. Just snug. Remember, you're working with plastic. And then put my airline back on. As it turns out, this side is one of those quick disconnects. But I just took the whole thing out. Folks, it's literally that easy. Even with a big bunk sleeper, don't let that scare you. Because that isn't that isn't very hard. Alright. That's a go. Let me fire this truck up. Myself. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. It looks scary, but that was really easy and all told, two sides, learning on the first, 30 minutes, and I'm done with the whole deal. How much were the airbags? Airbags were $52.99 each at the dealer. And how much would have they charged you to do this? Oh man, they'd probably charged me an hour a piece, so that'd have been $300 in labor to replace them, and it took me 30 minutes. That would have been $350 in labor. So, since my time is cheap, it just saved us a whole bunch of money. Awesome job, Whistle. Yep. Whoop, whoop. Owner operators making their own repairs.